Hey y'all, I am back with another video. Why my hotline blinging? I'm sorry y'all, I'm important. Anyway, so I, the channel, as you can tell, I've been dibbling dabbling around with the true crime genre as well because your girl is a bit morbid. I'm not gonna lie, I like gore. I've been running from this, um, <laughs> but I do like it. Even though I'm like really a scaredy cat in real life, but it intrigues me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to feature like two stories a week on just like true crime. Um, just different true crime around the United States. I wanted to do like a, um, a emphasis on the black communities black and brown communities because we you know sometimes some stories get swept under the rug and i just really wanted to bring that out into the surface you know but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes you guys i have two loading up this week i have the um kanika jenkins story and i have michelle blair check out those two let me know how y'all like them and you know but we're not letting celebrity gossip go because that's what y'all really like so i'm not gonna let it go i'm just gonna find a way to do the best do the do both under one umbrella so i don't want to do two different channels or nothing like that but anyway i don't want to ramble anyway 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 as you can tell by the title we about to get into some things okay you guys so the first topic at hand is this whole cam newton and what's his name nick cannon conversation I have not watched either one of those interviews, nor do I plan on it, because y'all not about to stress me out. I keep telling y'all, stop paying attention to these people. The root of all of this, okay, listen, the root of all of this is going to be childhood trauma and self-hatred, okay? Myself included i am not going to point the finger because i know 10 fingers are gonna come back i'm very transparent with you all i have a son i created a broken house for my son okay i ain't running from that i'm gonna sit here and own that okay the decisions i make from today on forward will affect my son the decisions I made during the time I was making my son were from traumatic experiences. Growing up, this or that. It is not that I had a terrible childhood, but I faced a lot of adversity. You know, to the people looking in, they might say, oh, that little bitch, she had everything. She was spoiled. It's not about having everything and being spoiled. I lacked a few things in my own personal life. And before I procreated a kid, I should have worked through those kinks. However, I didn't know to do that. That's not what people do where I'm from. Okay? That's just not. We stick and move, baby. It is what it is. So, ain't no telling how these men grew up. I ain't did no background research to see if their daddy was in the house. I don't know. I don't care. Okay? What I know is that today, with the knowledge and the information that's out there, there is no reason to be going around and repeatedly doing the same shit over and over. It's unacceptable. I'm not about to sit up here and hold your motherfucking hand. I'm not about to do shit. Did nobody hold my motherfucking hand as they shouldn't have? Because you move, maneuver through life and you learn your lessons to not be repeated. Okay? So... At first, you bump your head and you don't know. You know, Nick Cannon, he tried the marriage thing. You know what I'm saying? It didn't work. After that, he went buck fucking wild. I don't know what happened after that. You know what I'm saying? But what I do know is that kids do not deserve broken homes. They don't. At least have started the foundation to try. I mean, you got Nick Cannon out here having 50 million kids. You know what I'm saying? Just in purposely doing the shit, I guess. I don't, I, look, I don't. I don't know. Um, Cam Newton, he says, that I think from one of the clips, he said that he would like to be married, but you know, I don't, I don't know. Like, if you want to be married, sir, the world, we free. We in America. This is the land of the free. You can go find you somebody. You can get married. You know, I'm not here to judge. I say that to y'all all the time. 
But, you know, we got to do better. If, if these, these be the same men that'll sit back and chastise, talk bad about a woman who is raising her child on her own as if he was not a part of the problem. So you can procreate with me, but you can't marry me. Makes sense. But, you know that, hey, who am I? You know, I'm tired of having these same conversations. We got to do better as a community. It might get better with the next generation. This generation is cooked. I think Gen Z going to do a little better, though. Gen Z ain't just out here having kids left and right. I'm proud of them. I'm a, I'm a geriatric Gen Z. So I ain't get the memo in time. Okay? But I bet y'all won't be catching me having there nothing. What time is it? What's today? It's August 26th and it's 11.05. I'm not having no more kids. Okay? That's it. I had that one. And I talked to older men who done had their kids. And hopefully they don't want no more. And I ain't having no more. So we need to have an understanding. Okay? That one child is all I want. Is all I need. So they gonna have to make it up in their mind that, you know, they not gonna be keep doing stuff like this. They need to go to therapy. They need to get ahead of this. But I'm tired of having these same conversations. I'm really tired of it. And we need to move along from it. As like we're about to do right now. Because we're about to talk about Judge Matthews. Now, I don't know what my dog, Judge Matthews, that got himself into, but I'm I'm hurt, y'all. That's my internet daddy. Like, what did he do to auntie? Okay, it's been 39 years going on 40 years. Women, we will do anything to try to keep our relationships together. So, for that lady to leave after 40 years, it had to be damn bad. Now, I've heard two rumors. One is that he was caught with a man. The other is that he got a baby on the way. Which one is it? I don't know. But whatever it was, it was a deal breaker for Miss Mathis, baby. Because she's just like, hey, here go the papers. Go on here, sign them. I'm, I'm done with these. And then it might have been a buildup of stuff. Like, maybe he was doing stuff over the years. And then, like, you know, kind of to the conclusion, she can't, this one little straw broke the camel's back. And she's like, no, I'm done with these. I don't know. But I know if I've been with somebody 40 years, it better been damn bad because after i done put 40 years into some shit bitch we gonna die together we are we gonna motherfucking die together so i don't know like what was going on you know i'm really disappointed in judge matthews you know because he has that underdog story you know how you like to see the underdog come out on top you know he give that type of energy he give that kind of vibe so i'm like judge matthews don't be doing this don't do that you know what i'm saying like you only had a little bit of time left to do right you know me and die early hell. Not wishing death on him, but shit. You know me and die early. Be having heart attacks and strokes and shit. You could have did right. God damn. And either way, if he had a baby on the way or if he is with another man, just live in your truth. Just tell the truth and fuck how it turn out. I hope she didn't find this stuff out. You know, allegedly, all these things. I hope she didn't find out through Grapevine. I hope that, well, I'm knowing that he didn't tell out his mouth. But when stuff like that is going on, just tell people out your own mouth. Because it's better that way. Like, it's it's legit better to just go ahead and tell on your goddamn self. Like, it's 2024. Live in your truth. People accept you more for living in your truth. Or if you ain't perfect, okay, none of us are. You got a baby on your wife, go ahead and just tell them. You know, I, I ain't no telling how that woman found out stuff. Or whatever done happened. We gonna be standing by to see what really went on. Because I don't know that the truth has come out yet as of this video. But, you know, those are the two circulating rumors. Allegedly, those are the two. Um, he could either have been caught with a man or had a baby. Either way, Judge Mathis, get, Judge Mathis, get it together, baby. You know, we, 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 you our internet uncle. We ain't got time for all these. We look up to you. Oh, y'all stressing me out. All right, y'all. We'll be back with another video soon. Talk to y'all later. Mwah.